Salisbury steak? Fried chicken? Mexican? Wait, Mexican? But I'm not hungry, but I'm not hungry! Somebody help! 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 Hey everybody, it's no secret that I'm the biggest, strongest, and most manly YouTuber on the internet. And now that I'm dabbling in food reviews, it only makes sense for me to check out Hungry Man, the line of TV dinners known for their generous portion size. Warren Sapp is a hungry man. Packed with extra-large portions of the food men love, Hungry Man satisfies even the biggest appetites. Hungry Man, it's good to be full. And that's perfect for me, because obviously to keep up this physique, I uh, need to eat a lot. In fact, if you've never watched my videos before, it's very important that you realize I'm well known for being very buff and eating a lot of food. All right, no more wasting time. I'm hungry. Let's eat. Shit. Let's start the day off with Salisbury steak. Salisbury? Salisbury steak. Before I do anything, I should probably go ahead and preheat the oven. I didn't really think about doing that. Well, let's go in, let's check out the box. Comes with Salisbury steak, in-home style mushroom. In home style mushroom? Oh, so it comes with Salisbury steak in home style mushroom and onion gravy with creamy mashed potatoes and tender green beans. Includes a chocolate brownie. I've had this one before, uh, many times. I actually, I know I like Salisbury steak uh, and that's why I got it. For those who don't know, uh, Salisbury steak is basically ground beef and some other stuff mushed together into a patty form. I don't really know what separates it from like a hamburger patty, honestly. Apparently it's also known as Hamburg steak, although it's not the same. I don't know what's different about it, but it's not the same. Mm. So we've got our Salisbury steak in here. Uh, a little bit hard to see. Got the green beans got the brownie, and the mashed potatoes are insanely overfilled. There's a couple things in my Salisbury steak. Not quite sure what these things are, but I'm hoping they're ice. Oh no. Now you cut some slits in the other ones. Uh, and you're supposed to cook it in the oven for 35 minutes. I'm actually gonna do 40 minutes. Uh, I, I just like to make sure things are, I just like to make sure things are done, you know? All right, so while that's in there cooking, uh, let's look up a review to see what people think about what I'm about to experience. Here's a review called Hungry Man Frozen Meals by Farlow. They need to have less sodium, and Hungry Man is the wrong name because it did not fill up my husband. So all of you out there looking to rush out and buy a Salisbury steak to fill up your husband, uh, stay tuned, we, we have some doubts. I mean, you could argue that it is the right name since Hungry man left your husband a hungry man. But, but I get where you're coming from, Farlow. I know what you're saying. I'm picking up what you're putting down. I'm buying what you're selling. I'm sniffing what you're scratching. Here's one that's called Things That Make You Lose Your Appetite. When cut into your steak, see something white. Pull it out and find something white and floppy inside. Not quite sure what Ricky was trying to tell me there, but it 
does not make me very excited to eat this. There's a couple things in my Salisbury steak. Kind of makes me feel like I might eat a tapeworm. So I guess I'm just gonna sit here and wait. And wait, and wait, and wait, and wait, and wait. Hungry man. Hungry man. I am a hungry man. Would you look at that? Would you look at that brownie? Pretty good looking brownie. I don't know how to get this. This smells really, really good. Oh yeah. You got two little Salisbury steak patties. Those are presumably mushrooms. Green beans, nice hot brownie. Uh, mashed potatoes still looking a little bit scary. I mean, I'm no stranger to instant mashed potatoes, but I mean, something about just the way it looks on the edge here, eh. Now normally I would salt and pepper my Salisbury steak. It just, e even though it's loaded with sodium, it, uh, it just tastes better with salt and pepper. Since I'm eating three of these today though, I'm gonna spare my body the extra salt. Plus it'll just be more accurate to review it without adding, adding more flavors. Adding ding. Ooh, very hot. Mm -hmm. The Salisbury steak is really good. It's, it's really salty, but man, it's tasty. This is of course not compared to real ground beef or real food. Compared to other TV dinners though, I mean, that's a pretty tasty slab of possibly real meat. Probably not. The green beans are just green beans. It's a lot like corn where it's, it's kind of hard to mess up a frozen green bean. Could definitely use some extra salt, but we're not going there today. Be sure to get these edge potatoes. There we go. Better. Fake mashed potatoes, they're uh, fake mashed potatoes. I feel like it's really hard to describe a fake mashed potato, but if you've ever had one, you know what it tastes like. It's just fake mashed potatoes. The best way to eat these though, is you get a bite of the Salisbury steak, get some green beans on there, dunk it in some mash. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Now how about the brownie? I mean, it sure does look like it's all puffed up, but uh, good or bad. I wanted that to be a lot more clean. Strangely, the brownie is the easiest one to tell that it's not real. It's not even that it tastes bad or has a bad texture, but the brownie taste is very faint. You eat it and it feels like you're eating a brownie, but the taste is almost like it doesn't show up until you're done. Now, last time I reviewed a series of foods, I used a system called Ian Points. It was a made up point system. I made it up on the spot. It was something stupid that I did to tie the video together. So of course everyone was like, did you know that you did your math wrong? It got, it technically it got the most points it should have won. What I've got here is a chart of emotions. And I'm gonna tell you how this Salisbury steak meal made me feel. I would say that the beginning of this meal made me feel optimistic. And while it tasted pretty good, the sodium content really made me cautious. But as far as TV dinners go, I gotta admit that this one leaves me feeling pretty satisfied. I'm actually gonna finish this off camera uh, while the other one is cooking. I'm very hungry and this entire video is my lunch. But sitting here uh, next to an oven, it's very hot, especially with all these uh, big muscles insulating me. So let's get started on our next meal and I'm gonna finish that uh, over there somewhere. Fried chicken. I think I'm going to the bathroom. Wanna go? Yeah, sure. I don't really have to go, but I'll keep you company. Where are you ladies going? You are what you eat. So make it a hungry man. With a full pound of meat and potatoes, you can eat like a man and be full like a man. 
hungry man. It's good to be full. Next up is classic fried chicken. Tender white and dark chicken portions with homestyle mashed potatoes and sweet corn includes a chocolate brownie. I have a feeling that some of you are going to cheer the return of our good friend corn. Yes, magical, magical corn. I'm not quite sure what makes this a select. Uh, it says it's Hungry Man Selects, but I don't know. It's, it's the same thing, but with chicken. On the back here, they have, <laughs> they've got chicken and waffles, which looks, it really doesn't look like chicken or a waffle. Uh, we may have to try that if we do another Hungry Man video. I'm nervous. All right, so we got frozen corn, we got the brownie, we got the potato, and here's the chicken. I don't know what it is about this frozen chicken, but it makes me nervous. And I'm not even a stranger to frozen chicken. Give me a, a Tyson chicken strip, hell yeah. I, I don't know if it's the color, like the batter looks very light. Maybe that's what it is. It must be select because of the portion. It does look like there's more chicken. It looks, it just looks like more food than the Salisbury steak. In fact, now that I look at it, if you compare the protein on the box, that's probably what it is. Holy shit. I just don't know. The batter just looks, I don't know. I feel like, that looks weird, right? That looks strange. Well, I'm gonna admit, I am very, I don't, uh... Also, look at all this crap in my brownie, dude! You got corn, you got chicken in my brownie? I could just move it by hand, but uh, I want the full Hungry Man experience here. I don't know why, but for some reason, I'm, I'm worried that the oven is gonna catch this on fire. This being my totally real muscles, of course. I mean, you don't get this hot without being at least a little flammable, right? Seriously though, I hope this doesn't catch on fire and burn my skin off. Well, I'm gonna go eat the rest of my sodium. I mean, lunch. And then I'll be back when uh, this, when the chicken, I'll be back when it's chicken time. I'm back, so let's check out some chicken reviews. This review is called They've Changed It by no thappy. I have bought and enjoyed these for years, but recently they have cheapened them and they are now not worth the money. The chicken now tastes like an inferior grade and there are smaller bony pieces instead of a few big, nice, meaty, nice meat pieces of meat. I can't tell you how terrible the chicken tastes. Well, that sure makes me excited. No Thappy brings up a good point though. If you're nostalgic for Hungry Man meals, uh, they might be a bit different than the Swanson meals that you remember. Campbell Soup sold the Swanson Frozen Meals brand in 1998 to a company now known as Pinnacle Foods Inc. The, the chicken meal in particular seemed to have a bunch of comments talking about how it changed and how it's different than what they remember from back in the day and none of them are saying that it changed for the better. It's all saying that it changed for the worse. So it probably means it's gonna be pretty delicious. Chicken time, chicken time. Chicken sounds pretty good. Looks pretty good too. I mean, there's that brownie. The chicken looks a little, I don't know, it looks a little bit better. Maybe not that part. This chicken is making me feel Brighton. Oh, oh. If there's one thing that Hungry Man definitely got right, it's the smell. If you were making this at home and someone walked in, people would think you were making fried chicken. Like actual fried chicken, not whatever this is. All right, let's start, uh, let's start from the top up here. Mashed potatoes look pretty much the same. Let's stir it up a bit. That doesn't taste the same. Suspicious potatoes. I hereby declare my suspicion on the mash. It still tastes like fake mashed potatoes, but it is not as good as the Salisbury steak mashed potatoes. That obviously doesn't make any sense. I mean, surely they're the same mashed potatoes, right? Something's up, man. Something's up with these taters. 
Mm. Mm. Hell yeah, dude. Mm. Corn is delicious. In fact, they should put this corn in the Salisbury steak meal to make it even better. Mm. I like green beans just fine, but man, the corn is just, I fucking love the corn, man. Mm. I don't trust the chicken. I don't trust it. I'm not looking forward to eating it. I'm gonna eat the brownie first. I guess I have to get the, oh no. The stuff that was in the brownie, uh, there's a problem here. That looks disgusting. Now I know that some of you will say that this is my fault, uh, and you're right. I don't wanna eat that. I guess I gotta eat that, okay. That brownie made me feel... Hot? All right, it's chicken time. Chicken time, oh shit. You just gotta do it. You just gotta eat. You just gotta take that bite. It's just frozen food. People eat it every day. I'll do my best to eat the scary piece. Look at that wet, look at that wet. I can't tell if it's like, is that oil? Is it greasy? I don't know where to eat this thing. I don't think any of this is chicken. I think this is all batter. This piece looks a lot easier to eat. I know where to bite this piece, so this is where we're gonna go. Mm -mm. Mental. It's mental. You are what you eat. So make it a hungry man. With a full pound of meat and potatoes, you can eat like a man and be full like a man. Hungry man. It's good to be full. We're not done. We're not done. I got all batter. I thought I was getting chicken. I think I got all batter again. Because these little pieces are buried under all this batter. It's not even crispy. Like the outside is a little bit crispy, but the bulk of it is just mush. Okay, I mean, that's really bad chicken. It's very dry, very salty, but it's chicken. I honestly think the problem is the, the batter. It's really hard to show you, but it's just, it's just mushy and gross. Let's take another bite. Let's go, let's go for the wing. We've got a wing here, we're going for the wing. Oh, it's just so wet on the bottom, dude. Ah. Okay. Bizarre. So I've eaten some of each piece and they all taste radically different. It's very strange and makes me very, I don't know, I'm not eating more. I'm gonna finish these up here. I feel bad wasting this chicken, but oh my. The best bite I had tasted like just some dry flavorless chicken. That was the best. The worst was when it was all batter. I got a bunch of batter and it was the wet soggy batter at the bottom. That was disgusting. Now, how am I feeling about this meal? Uh, well, the mashed potatoes made me feel agonized. The corn made me feel pretty blissful. The brownie with the, uh, the corn, the brownie plus corn plus chicken made me feel pained. And the chicken made me feel horrified. This was not good. Do not buy this. I wonder, what, I wonder what it tastes like before the change. I wonder what the Swanson version of this meal tasted like. But this chicken doesn't look anything even remotely, like the colors aren't even, you can, you can see it from there. The colors aren't even close to the same. Start of the show here, corn wins, corn always wins. It's not that I have unrealistic expectations for my TV dinners, but I'm a big fan of fried chicken, so I thought maybe, I don't know, I had higher hopes. Just disappointing. Fried chicken seems like one of those things that's it's hard to mess up, so when it is, you know, not even just messed up, this is a, just a disaster. All right, everybody, we've had some ups, we've had some downs, but it's time 
for the last meal. Mexican! It's called Mexican Style Fiesta. And I just kind of thought that was funny because the other ones were just Salisbury steak and fried chicken. Like why not, why isn't it just beef, beef enchiladas? Nevertheless, it has the least G's of protein, though it still has an insane amount of sodium. Beef enchiladas smothered in chili sauce and cheese with Mexican style rice and authentic refried beans. Includes cocada pudding. Coconut flavored pudding? Uh, this picture just looks terrible. They, they couldn't even get a, a good picture of their own food uh, for their box. It's hard enough to get good tasting Mexican food out and about. So I imagine that finding good tasting frozen Mexican food is gonna be impossible. Well, I gotta say this plate looks a lot like, I don't know, the Titanic sinking. And I'm not saying that, I mean, it looks like the it's sinking into the, the sauce. We got three enchiladas in here, each uh, in, in varying depths of the sauce. I don't know what's sprinkled on top here. It kind of reminds me of uh, drumsticks, like the nuts on top of drumsticks. This is not a dipping sauce, this is pudding. And I forgot what this is already. Refried beans. The refried beans are probably gonna be okay. Here's a review by Yesterday's Corn, Pig Slop. Just disgusting. How do they continue to sell this? I used to eat these hungry mans when I was a kid. Now they so barely resemble food, it's like something I would expect in prison. It's been reduced to something that nowhere resembles the pictures on the front. There is a few crumbs of cheese and the beans are plain and the dessert is just some weird sugary liquid. Used to actually be a treat. I just threw half of one in the trash. Never again. I'm gonna predict that this is gonna be better than the chicken though. Not necessarily better, but I think I'm gonna be able to eat more of this than I was the chicken. This is all at least supposed to be kind of mushy, you know? You know, I'm sitting here waiting for 40 minutes for this to cook. So out of curiosity, I went and I'm, I'm browsing the Hungry Man website. It's kind of hilarious. Eat like a man. More of the food guys love. Only men eat this much food. Salisbury steak, fried chicken, men only. No girls allowed. Sorry, ladies. I guess it is more catchy than hungry person though, right? I'm gonna go to the store and pick me up a nice frozen hungry person. And the product they're currently advertising is golden battered chicken with cheese fries. That looks scary. I'm glad that that's not what I'm eating today. Hope you guys are ready for a quite the fiesta. Everything's nice and bubbly. Check out those beans a bubbling, the pudding a bubbling, uh, enchilada. Oh no. I'm gonna be honest here. This uh, episode has been a little bit weird to film. I basically have to have almost hour long breaks as I wait for the food to cook. And I don't know, the gaps in between meals has really worn me out a little bit. So sorry if I seem a little tired right now. I think. Next time I'm gonna do a food that doesn't take so long to cook, or maybe cook them all at once. I'm not sure. All right, enough talking. Let's get to uh, sadness. Oh shit! Travesty. Who's hungry? Who wants to eat some of this? Uh, these two, the beans and the pudding, just look flat. I mean, except for on the sides here, you can see the sides kind of curling up a bit. That's, I don't know. And then there's this, uh, men only. No girls allowed. Sorry, ladies. Do you know what? The chicken one may have gotten the better of me, but this Mexican fiesta isn't gonna be so lucky. I'm hungry, man, damn it, and I'm hungry. I'm gonna eat this food. <laughs> You've met your match, Mexican Fiesta.
it's so good. Slop is a great way to describe this dish. Oh my God, the corner, ugh. It just like pulls away. I really like enchiladas. In fact, every food that we've eaten today, I like it. But this isn't enchiladas. You can't, you can't call this shit enchiladas, man. You can't sell this and call this a fucking fiesta. I don't even know what that's supposed to taste like. It tastes like mush. It's got a little bit of a spice at the very end of it that makes you go, okay, Mexican fiesta, okay. Let's check out these refried beans. Mmm, yummy. This is giving me a tummy ache already, guys. What is, what is it? It's not beans, so what is it? What are you trying to, what are you trying to sell me here? Apparently, it, apparently it is beans. Apparently it's beans and beef fat to improve stability, but there's no stability here. Now let's try the, Pudding. What'd they say it was? Coconut flavored? I love coconut. Coconut is one of my favorite flavors, so that's vanilla. It's not even close to coconut. This tastes pretty similar to like snack pack uh, vanilla pudding, except it's watery and terrible and also very warm. Again, I'm a big fan of pudding. I'm not a big fan of warm pudding. That said, it's the only thing on here I can finish. Uh, will I? Maybe. Now, how did this Mexican style fiesta make me feel? Well, the coconut pudding definitely made me feel disappointed. The, the refried beans were distasteful. And the enchiladas, of course, made me disgusted. It's just mush. And none of it really tastes like anything. It's all got this faint, weird taste. This is not an accurate representation of the food that you receive. The Hungry Man uh, chicken is also not an accurate representation, though this is more accurate than this is. And then there's Salisbury steak, which is exactly what you get. This looks pretty freaking close to what you get. So the hypothesis would seem to be the further away you get from the picture on the box, the worse it tastes. And that makes sense because they're trying to make it look like food on the box even though they're selling you this. So that was my review of three different Hungry Man meals. Uh, the only one worth even remotely considering is the Salisbury steak meal. Uh, the, the chicken is maybe if you're feeling adventurous and I don't know, want to take a chance. I'm sure somebody likes this somewhere. And then this one should just be avoided at all costs. I'm actually surprised that this one is still being, ooh. I'm surprised that there are people who are buying this and then buying it again. A lot of the time I, I try and, you know, I, I want to see where people are coming from and you gotta, you gotta see things from different perspectives, right? But if someone comes up here and says, my favorite food in the world is Mexican style fiesta hungry man, then I, I don't understand. I can't, I, I can't, I can't. I hope you enjoyed this review of hungry man foods. This is a pretty heavily requested video, but uh, I'm not sure going forward if we'll do another one. I like the food reviews, but this one wasn't very involved. I like, I like when I have to put together a pizza or, you know, assemble a magic sauce. Hungry man, you literally just throw it in the oven and then wait to be disappointed. Let me know uh, what other kind of foods you'd like to hear about. Uh, other TV dinners or, I don't know, anything. Anything. I'll review anything that, I don't know, looks fun to review. I don't even know, I don't know how I'm supposed to end this. This, uh, not like that. Next time we'll try something a little bit more involved. Uh, I don't know about the future of the TV dinner reviews. If all I'm doing is throwing something in the oven and then eating it, I'm gonna get bored doing that and I don't wanna get bored. So give me some suggestions. Thank you so much for watching and, oh no, I hear someone calling. Someone is hungry. This looks like a job for Hungry Man.